Now, I know I've been really, really, really negative about the Odyssey. I don't think the Odyssey as a whole is like this game-breaking ship, but I did think that the sale was potentially really fucking egregious. And the Odyssey Q&A came out today. I don't think my opinion of the sale is going to change based off of anything written in this Q&A. But I did get a small glimpse, and I think CIG did the right thing here, um, just from one of the questions being answered. And let's check out the Misk Odyssey Q&A. Um, Falling cuts of release of Misk Odyssey. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. What materials can the Odyssey refine? And does refined material go straight to the fuel tanks or the cargo bay? Two Two questions. Probably the most important questions out of anything. The Odyssey can refine quantanium and hydrogen into fuel. The refinery solely exists to extend the ship's range, so refined fuel goes straight to the fuel tanks rather than the cargo bay. Okay, that's great. So now it's not the Orion, right? Like smaller version of the Orion or whatever. It is an exploration ship. That's its intentions. It only uses this to refuel its tanks. A lot of people told me this was how it was going to be. I honestly, I kind of believed you. Like YouTube comments, Twitch comments, all these things. I, I believe that's how it should be, but it was never really communicated that that's how it is. It was like very loosely communicated that that's how it was, but not really. They kind of left it open to imagination because that's what Star Citizen sales do. And then you go, oh, I want this Odyssey because I can do this with it and I can do that with it. And it does more things than any other ship. So why wouldn't I want it, right? That, that kind of thing. Um, but this really clears that up. And I think it takes the Carrick and gives the Carrick a bit of a role. And I think it gives the Odyssey this weird in between role, but maybe we'll find out more about it through the rest of the Q&A. Is the Odyssey able to refine materials from other ships, such as ore bags from the Prospector? It's not planned at this point, as there is no way to feed the onboard refinery other than the Odyssey's own mining arm. I mean, they said at this point, so it's still open, obviously, because the ship's not coming out for five years, so, like, who, who cares anyway? But the... The as of right now, if you were going to buy the ship right now, it is not intended to take ore bags. That's interesting as well. Because you would think that you would like put a prospector in there and uh, I, I don't know and, and have a little bit more ore capacity, but okay, I'm good with that too. I think that that takes the Odyssey and makes it. Less of a, a character killer again. Uh, in comparison to the characters, the Odyssey have capacity to conduct jump point mapping and scanning. The Odyssey does not have the ability to scan and map jump points to the same extent as the Carrick, which remains the best current ship for that particular role. In general, all ships will be able to de detect jump points, though the Carrick is simply better at doing it and from much greater ranges. Great. Like... That's another one of these things where uh, I've talked a lot about explor exploration lately. It is the most misunderstood and thing that the star system community just doesn't understand because what does mapping jump points even entail? What makes the Carrick better over every other ship? Magical sensors or something? Like, we, we don't even know how it's going to work. We have no UI. We have no understanding of what this stuff even looks like. So, again, you are spending hundreds of dollars on words on a page that we're reading right now. Uh, what specialized sensor scanners, if any, does the Odyssey have? I don't see any dedicated scanning mapping rooms for equipment. What tools does it give its crew for exploration and making discoveries? Thank you. This is a really good question because what does this ship even do now? There are no dedicated rooms or specialized equipment as default, but that doesn't mean the Odyssey is incapable of performing these functions. A lot of other a lot of future exploration gameplay mechanics will be driven from stations using MFDs, so the lack of a dedicated room doesn't stop the activity from happening. However, Ships that have dedicated rooms for, for specific features will have buffs to their abilities as a result. Okay. 
Um, if you want to improve the scanning functionality of the Odyssey, there are multiple ships that excel in that role to fit the hangar, such as the Anvil F7CR Hornet and the Terrapin. What? This poses more questions than answers. The Odyssey is the best exploration ship. It is the premier. Why the hell would I take this 50-year-old ship and a turtle over a Odyssey? Super weird. What's the biggest difference between the Odyssey and the Carrick? The biggest difference is the Carrick specialization in various areas, such as jump point scanning, scanning mapping, uh, onboard drones, and repair facilities. And it's three modular cargo bays that can be outfitted in the future for various purposes beyond cargo. The Odyssey, however, favors a more generalized approach with the flexibility to do a lot of separate roles depending on how you equip it with onboard ships, ground vehicles, and supplies. Again, super vague. Makes the ship... It makes me look like they were trying to sell an image here and not uh, gameplay, which is kind of on par and is what it is, right? So, that. Yeah. yeah. Like, right? Like, that. wow. Good point, dude. That's that's such a weird thing to say. But it, it's hard to understand what the ship is now. The Odyssey can refuel other ships. Can the Odyssey refuel other ships? Or is it limited to the vehicles in its hangar? The Odyssey can only refuel ships landed in its hangar via on-foot manual refueling. Okay, I mean, as long as it can do it. But that means you would have to supply the ship with like cargo boxes of fuel, I would think. How can a mail slot cockpit have excellent visibility? Visibility. The mail slot is actually quite large and opening and provides significant panoramic panoramic views for everyone on the bridge. Okay. It's still a mail slot though. Confusing. That's one of the things where like we would have to be there to know. All right, what ships will fit in the hangar? Can you please provide us with some examples of excess ships? And then an excess hangar generally refers to common as small ships. The non-exhaustive list of ships includes. All right, there you go. Such ships as the Vanguard, Cutlass, Freelancer, Reliant, Carthoral are too big as they are the next size up. What are the rings you could see the people standing on in the background of the shot? Some kind of gra Jean Grav lift. The Odyssey leverages a lot of Zian tech in its construction, and the image below shows the main personnel lift. The top hangar also uses Zian tech to fold the roof door into a much smaller footprint than typically it would be possible. Ah, uh, it's this thing over here. Okay. Uh, do the size 4 shields on this large ship mean that a new component size category in between large and capital was added? Cat capital components are the same as size 4 components. Okay. We have five sizes in game, and... In and the terms are often interchanged. Vehicle, small, medium, large, and capital. There you go. Does it come with a ground vehicle and a snub like the Carrick? This is a good question. The standalone Odyssey comes with no included ships or ground vehicles, allowing you to customize your fleet as you wish. That would have been a good... Si like, here's the thing. This is something I would not have been upset at them with. What if they did the... Odyssey this, the Odyssey that, the Odyssey XYZ. And then each one was customized by adding the things that you would need to enhance what the Odyssey can do. But they kind of missed out on that. I, I would have been okay if they did that. It's already bad enough, right? Why not? How much space is there for ground vehicles? Can you fit a Spartan or multiple Cyclones? A ground the ground vehicle area in the Odyssey is quite spacious and designed to carry vehicles the size of the Ursa rover. And while it shares an overall room with cargo, the two are separated. So carrying a maximum amount of cargo does not impede the vehicle area. This means you can also sacrifice cargo space for additional vehicles. It is not intended at this point to carry vehicles the size of the Nova, Ballista, or Spartan, although more enterprising players may find a way to squeeze one in. The brochure shows crew quarters, but does not. But does the captain have their own room and facilities? Being a non-military design, unlike the Carrick, there isn't a dedicated captain's quarters. However, 
Every crew member has their own quarter, so it's up to the captain to decide which room they like the best. Okay. Very, very, very interesting. I am so not confused at all. Like, it is so obvious what happened here. Guys, we need a big capital ship to sell at IAE. What's it going to be? Well, we haven't made a MISC ship in a while. Okay. What does MISC not do, really? We don't have a really big exploration ship from MISC. All right. Draw one up. We'll figure it out later. How much are we selling it for? $700. All right, cool. You know, and that's what it was. A and can do we expect anything less from these guys? You know? So that that's not a surprise. That is, It is what it is. It is what it is, man. They got to fund the project. But they need to keep trying to fund the project without confusing the backers and making things that people don't know what they're buying you know that shit's got to stop at some point but yeah so of course i'm sure i'll turn this into a youtube video so make sure you hit the like button subscribe comment all that stuff um and yeah if you guys are watching on twitch make sure you hit the follow button we do watch these on twitch live every day so uh twitch.tv slash salty mike thanks for watching